So, how you doing? Jensen? What are you doing here? I think you know why I'm here, Tyndall. I want Corella's security footage back. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm Seraph Industries' chief of security. I'm pretty sure I can find out about an edited security tape, so don't bullshit me. Mm. Ah, shit. Listen, Jensen, I never wanted things to get this bad. I'm not a bad guy. I feel for Corella, I really do. But sometimes, for a good cause, you have to get your hands dirty. Oh. There's a good cause now? Oh, I see. You think I'm selling the stuff, right? I understand why this would seem like an obvious motive, especially to an ex-cop. But trust me, you shouldn't always take things at face value. I'm not selling the neuropazine, I'm giving it away. Giving it away? To who? To the people who need it. You think everyone gets augmented by choice? No. Shit happens. And then what? You're saddled with neuropazine injections for the rest of your life, and that shit costs money. But what choice do you have? Without the drug, you'll die. Rejection syndrome, crippling pain, that just ain't right. So I did the only decent thing to do. I stepped up. Interesting. I can respect that, because it's not right, you know, we're in, we're in a sort of harsh world here, and like you say, people often don't choose to get augmented, and then they have to buy the new Repazine for the rest of their lives, which honestly seems like a bit of a raw deal, honestly, and is really good for the people who produce Neuropazine. So, I, yeah, totally. I can respect that. But blackmail is still blackmail. Corella wants out, and I'm here to make sure he gets out. Man, this whole thing is becoming way too much trouble. I've even got two local pushers on my back because they say my philanthropic actions are undercutting their profit. Ah. That's not your only problem. Mm. A gun-toting client was waiting for you in your apartment earlier. Really? In my apartment? Shit. The dealers probably sent him. Tell you what. Yep. I'll deal with the client later. You take care of the dealers, and the footage is yours. <laughs> oh, hmm. Uh, All right, let's have a think about this. So he uh, he's stealing neuropazine from where it's well from our company in order to give it away to people who apparently need it. Um, some dealers who are dealing in neuropazine illegally are like coming down on him, saying they're you know he's undercutting them and uh, they're trying to take him out. Basically, they're not happy about him doing that. Um, so, you know, even if I do, like, convince him to stop or whatever, these dealers are still going to have to go after him. And he's a good guy, so I am going to take these dealers out. Um, I think that's the best way of, of dealing with it, because, you know, I'm killing some criminals. And, you know, Denson, like, like he likes killing criminals. And, uh, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, he does anyway. And, and yeah, and uh, and then he'll help him, help him out, and he'll get the security footage back. So it's, it's a win, 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 win for everyone involved as far as I'm concerned it might not be the totally right decision and indeed I don't think there is a completely right decision in this sort of uh, situation which is good you know brings up morals and stuff which I enjoy but for in this sort of situation I'm gonna help him out okay I'll help you out but you better not be playing me you give me way too much credit Jensen I'm a security tech not a hardened mobster the two bushers go by the name PG and BK they hang out in the alley near the basketball court. Just make sure they never bother me again. Not ask... Yeah, well, I'm going to ask about that. Just checking. You're asking me to kill them. Well, that's a bit drastic, isn't it? Mm. But it's your call, as long as you leave me alone. The important thing is you need to take care of both of them. All right, well, there we go. So we can... We don't have to kill them. We don't have to kill them. The two basketball players, they're two basketball players, you know what I mean. They're um, not far away, I think. Yeah, they're just up there. Um, yeah, I mean, I could have probably just, like, you know, used my mod that I bought, my my um, augmentation, to, to convince him otherwise. And people are going to say, well, why did you buy that if you're not going to use it? But in that situation, you know, I think this is the better way to go about it anyway. Um, indeed, it does get people into trouble at the security guard, you know, if I go and hack this place over here. Um, then, you know, he might, or even just punching the code even, he might get into bother with that. Um, so, so you know, it's not always, it's a shortcut, but it's not always, you know, the easiest way isn't always the best. I'm going to go ahead and save the damn game again. Now, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this, really. 
Hmm. Basketball court's just around here. Yeah, there it is. I'm not. Wow, I got a massive slow down there. Yeah, there they are. So, um. Hmm. I could just, like, talk to them, maybe. That wasn't my initial thought, but, it, you know, I could use my, um. My augmentation to, uh. Talk them down. That's a possibility. We'll give that a go and see how it goes. If, you know. If we force into a fight. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm sort of not bothered about killing them now, but I've got like a whole arsenal of weaponry that does just that. I suppose I could use the concussion grenade, which is on that one there, number eight, and then take them down um, with my fists and stuff, but I'll have to see. I'll just talk to them, maybe. Look at you. What are you, a goddamn super soldier or something? Yep. I heard about them on the radio. Lazarus is the shit. Not like that Eliza bitch. You hear what Lazarus been saying? This country's falling apart, man. States are looking to leave the Union. So I can't convince them of anything. I can't get into there. It's just a shame, really. Um, I mean, I can totally just, you know... Except I can't. How do, how do I do the whole knocky out thingy thing? Oh, damn, like that. Okay. <laughs> it's that button. Alright, and now... Uh, I gotta run away, I gotta run away, run away, run away. I want to recharge my batteries. Basically. There's no way he'll find me. No way. I've completely disappeared. Yeah, he'll he'll just go back to uh Yeah. <laughs> uh and then I'll just try and um do the same to him. My battery's almost recharged. Oops, oops. Ah, oh, damn. Alright. Maybe we need another sort of plan here then. Well, I'll tell you what we can do. You have a nice, uh, I just had one of the, these bars then. Um, Alright, let's try this again. He's coming in. Alright. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, come on, I pressed it. I pressed it. I was pressing E, you know, because I'm an idiot. And I'm a complete moron. That's why. Load, load let it slave. We're going to do this properly. We're going to do this right. That's how not to do it. This is how we're going to do it. This is, this is it. This is the... They're just low-life punks. I don't really want to kill them, but they do have, like, firearms and stuff, and as soon as I lay a finger on them, they do try and kill me. Um, but no. Let's do it this way. Let's eat one of those bars. And uh, and just do this. And this will work just fine. Because by the time he works out what's happened, I've already taken him out. I don't know how I got behind him, but there we go. There we go. Merciful soul. I got some bonus stuff for that. I'll take your weaponry. Oh, that's right. Well, I, I would do. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'll leave you weaponry. But there we go. That was that was much more competent, wasn't it? It did cost me an energy bar, though. You know, I could have just shot them both in the head and been done with it, which would have been easier, to be fair. But um, no, I'm happy with that. I got a few more points uh, for that, for not killing them, which I, you know, I like that the game encourages that. Look, I told you, if you want me to give you that security footage. You're going to have to get those pushers off my ass first. I suppose, like maybe I like like killing them might have been warranted because they did send somebody with a gun after this dude, <laughs> so they're obviously like quite capable of murder. Nevertheless, I, I just beat them up and hope hope that they sort of turn over a new leaf. That's what I'm saying anyway. It's all good. I've taken care of the dealers. Now hand over the footage. Thanks, Jensen. Listen, I know it's not something you did from the bottom of your heart, but still. You saved my ass. Here's your footage. 